All right, ladies, so I've been studying men, and what I found out about men is that they're attracted to the sensuous, full-bodied, full self-expressed, bold personality of a woman. This part of us is so beautiful of us as women. It's so different from the way that men are. Women, we're vibrant and we're alive and we're passionate and we have all these feelings and emotions and it's it's so foreign to men and we are just expressive by nature. That's what we're good at. And men just think this is delicious. Just like a cup of coffee is delicious. And they want to drink us up just like coffee. It's so delicious. But there's this problem that we have where sometimes we think we need to do something different in order to make them like us. Or we give up who we really are for a man. Even we, we do this even during dating, before we even know who the man is. We can tort ourselves into something different. We can tort ourselves into something we know that we're not. We're trying to be something what we think he likes. Maybe we think we have an idea of what he would like, so we try to be that. Maybe we think he likes younger, prettier, sexier women, and so then we try to be that. We try to contort ourselves into something that we're not. And then the worst thing happens, especially on a, a new date. He doesn't call you back. Or even worse, you sleep with him and he doesn't call you back. Men have powerful bullshit detectors. This is what I'm learning about men. And if you're full of shit, he's gonna know. He's gonna know if he can just sleep with you and then walk away. So don't be somebody that you're not, okay? So you're you're like coffee, delicious, delicious coffee. And I'm gonna say that you're like the coffee bean, okay? And this, you're, you're, the longer we put you in hot water, the longer you put a woman, right, the longer you put me in hot water, the stronger I get and actually the more delicious I get, okay? And so men are reacting to women. So the men are the coffee makers and we are the coffee beans. And so men, you know, you can't make a great cup of coffee with just beans or just a coffee maker. You need them both, you know, just like to make a great relationship, you need a man and a woman. And men are reacting to us. And so when you put really nice, um, not too finely ground beans into a French press, you get a really great coffee, right? Well, if you tell a man that you're not ground very fine, that you, you're like coarse grinds, but really you're fine grinds and you stick it in the French press, you're gonna get like disgusting coffee. It's gonna taste like mud. Or if he's an espresso maker and you, you know, because in an espresso maker, you put the little fine grounds, but let's say you're kind of coarsely ground. I mean, I think I'm kind of coarsely ground. Um, and, and, and then I pretend like I'm finely ground, and then I try to stick that in an espresso maker. You're going to get a really crappy cup of coffee. It's going to taste really weak and bitter and kind of taste like pee. Um, and, and that's not going to gonna go well either, right? But um, if you find the right kind of grinds for the right kind of machine, then you're going to make really freaking delicious coffee and it's going to be perfect. So, you know, how finely are you ground? And it's important to know, but here's the thing. And here's, here's the essence. I'm a coffee bean, you're a coffee bean. And maybe, you know, maybe you're the breakfast blend and I'm the espresso roast. I, I really personally, I like espresso roast, but I'm, I'm not a big fan of the breakfast blend. That doesn't mean that there aren't hundreds of thousands of people who drink the breakfast, bre I cannot say that, the breakfast blend. So you can't change the kind of bean that you are. You are who you are and you get to authentically express who you are. And depending on if a man is a French press or an espresso maker, we can figure out how to grind up your beans to see if, you know, do, do you need to be a little more coarsely ground or a little more finely ground to fit with the espresso maker or the French press that you happen to be dating. And I can absolutely work with you to help you figure that out. And here's the deal. If he doesn't like the breakfast blend and you're the breakfast blend, he's missing out. Don't, don't be with the guy who doesn't want the breakfast blend if you're the breakfast blend. Go find a guy who freaking loves the breakfast blend because you're worth it and you're worth that love and you're worth that attention. So if you're tired of him not calling you back after a date, if you're tired of not only losing him, but also losing yourself in the process of dating, then reach out to me through private message. Let's chat and figure out how to make the perfect brew of coffee in your relationship.